Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Mizu here. It's been a while since I last uploaded, but today I woke up and I was like, hey, today's gonna be a good day. Today, I'm gonna break from the cycle and, you know, I wanted to tell you guys is that I beat Lost Ark. I know many of you guys probably still play Lost Ark and, you know, continue to play, especially since today's reset day. Probably try and do your dailies, your boss rushes, your cubes, trying to get some of your legion raids in today as well. But for me, Today, I woke up and felt like I didn't need to do any of these things. And, you know, I thought about it. I've been thinking about it the past couple days and I'm like, yeah, I really did beat Lost Ark. And I think today is a good day for me to put this game at rest. And, you know, it's a it's a, one of those videos where it's like, I quit, but I'm going to tell you why. And I'm exactly going to tell you why. So, uh, for the most part, it's not because I didn't have fun playing Lost Ark. I have tons of fun playing Lost Ark. But I feel like, for me, when I play a game, there needs to be a sense of accomplishment and there needs to be a goal. And the most important reason is to have fun while playing the game. And for me, I don't have a goal currently when I'm playing Lost Ark. And, you know, there's no sense of accomplishment at this point in the game anyways. And this doesn't mean that Lost Ark is a bad game. I really enjoyed the game. I really enjoyed the combat. I could go back into Brashaza right now and still have a blast doing Brashaza. But for the most part, I feel like the ship has sailed its course and I'm at a good spot right now. I really enjoyed this game from day one. I had lots of fun playing it. I enjoyed playing my sorceress, leveling up, increasing my item levels, getting better gear, changing my looks on my character, getting better fashion, better Naria outfits, costumes, skins, you know, as in any MMO, fashion is the end game and I really enjoyed that aspect of it as well. However, today, I woke up and decided to like, hey, it's time to throw in the towel. Today is a good day to take a break, make a video, and call it quits for Lost Ark. You may be saying that yes, there's a lot of content coming down in the future, but as I continue to look down the roadmap, I don't feel any inspiration in order to play. Because I feel like I really met one of my big goals was to try the Clown Raid and Brushhauser Raid. And I definitely met those goals. And I have completed it. I have also have completed it many times. And I'm looking at the roadmap, I'm looking at the calendar, and it's about eight to nine months before we get a con. And I don't know if I really want to do Belshaza that many times. It becomes just somewhat of a chore. So I kind of looked at the differences between Belshaza hard mode and normal mode. And yes, Belshaza hard mode is indeed more difficult. Belshaza hits a little bit harder, some of the mechanics have been added as well however the changes are not very many so i'm looking at this and i'm thinking in my mind it's like hey do i really want to be doing brochaza on all six of my characters for the next 10 months and you know guardians dailies and whatnot and i'm just thinking about it and you know i really don't because i feel like i've already completed this right it's Roshaza, but just slightly tuned up. Yes, I know I can probably complete it. I'll probably have fun doing it. However, I don't know if I want to be doing that long term for that many months. And I know there's another patch called Algacia with Kaingo that's supposed to come out as well. However, that's more of a abyssal raid. It's not meant to be legion raid difficulty. And you're supposed to clear it, what, weekly, I believe? And, you know, that is probably pretty cool as well. But I don't know if I really want to stay for the entire roadmap of Lost Ark. I know there's additional updates in the future. There's also the newest updates with Loa on that just happened on winter. And some of the changes don't really impress me. As a player that has been playing a lot of MMOs, my latest MMO that I last played was Black Desert that I played consistently. I played for quite some time and eventually I quit that. And I've been on a journey and a hunt for many other MMOs and I could not find one. I played so many, many of them crash and burn, many of them have tried to relaunch multiple times as cash grabs. And you know what, at this point I look at the MMO, I see the trailer and then I see a couple of details, I'm like hey this game is the one. And for Lost Ark, I saw this trailer many years ago when it first came out and I was like wow I really hope it comes out to the west. And eventually it came out to KR and in KR they had tons of raids, I saw some of the videos from Clown and Brashaza and I was like wow I really want to try this. And then as the years continue to go by, we don't hear any news of Lost Ark coming out into the West until Amazon Games decided to pick it up. So I was super excited. I dropped every game that I was playing. I think I was playing Valorant at the time. I was 
also playing Fortnite as well and some Warzone. So I was playing a couple FPS games and decided to drop all those and I was like, okay, now is the time to no life this game. And whew, we, I got a whole bunch of friends hyped up on this game. They're willing to try it. There's tons of people playing it and wow, this game blew up. There's so many people playing Wildstar for day one. The servers, as expected, definitely crashed. And for the most part, it wasn't the worst launch ever for MMO. I've played through many MMOs where you just couldn't log in that day. And you know, this is one of the better ones. So for Lost Ark, I had lots of fun day one. I enjoyed lots of the raids, lots of the music, the campaign, the story, somewhat for the most part. I really got annoyed with Armin like most people. The voice acting wasn't too good. But for the most part, I really had fun playing Lost Ark. I really like the aesthetic of it. I like the combat as well. Also the art design, you know, like Eastern MMOs are my thing. But for the most part, the biggest thing that turned me off about Eastern MMOs is the amount of grind and the monetization. So for Lost Ark, from a player standpoint, as one that's never played KR or Russia or any of the other regions, like this felt really fair as a progression type of game. As long as you continue to play, you were able to progress. You're going to eventually be able to hit your homes, whether or not you pity, you know, it feels bad. But coming from Black Desert, this felt a lot better. Seeing how for Black Desert, you could be saving up your materials in order to try to hone and you would fail. And on top of it, in some cases, your hone could fail and you could go down honing levels. Or if you're honing accessories, you could essentially destroy your accessories as well. So it felt really bad trying to progress in Black Desert and it just felt like an infinite grind. But ever since I left Black Desert, I've been looking for the next MMO ever since and Lost Ark definitely filled that void. So I was pretty excited to try out Lost Ark and play through it with a bunch of my friends. And once it came around towards Argos time, a lot of them started to become burnt out. In order to actually keep up during Argos back then, you actually had to play quite a lot and have to understand a lot of things about the game and back then i even created a video about burnout because back in the days of lost ark where you had to create your six-man roster going through the storyline multiple times it was incredible amounts of work you had to pretty much go into overtime and in trying to create your six-man roster trying to earn gold especially trying to funnel all those materials to get your main ready for argos and it was a lot of work and a lot of people felt the pain. And for the most part, as I continued to play Lost Ark, some of my friends quit during Argos phase. They couldn't keep up. Also, more players decided to quit around Valton because they felt like this game wasn't for them. And it's quite understandable. I had a lot of friends that just came from FPS games and they just wanted to try it out. Or they just couldn't keep up because MMOs are a long-term commitment. And when it came to around Vicus time, I actually got out of my way in order to try to find a static group. And this is where I tried to find new players for the very first time to try to play this game. And I met some players that I actually enjoy playing with and eventually started to run multiple raids with them. I did Vikings with them. I eventually did Clown with them. And I really enjoy playing with them. But, you know, a lot of them also cut back as well. So, you know, that's just the nature of Lost Ark and MMOs in general. You know, your friends just aren't always going to be there playing forever. And eventually people are just gonna eventually log off and it just becomes a little bit sad you know you just see your friends us and and you know you just, you just miss them and you just think about the memories that you make but for the most part i really had fun playing through lost ark i enjoy velton vikis clown and also brushaza as well so once brushaza came out i was super excited to do the brushaza raid so when i saw the trailer for the game and then a couple years later i saw raids for Clown and Belshazzar as well, that's what sold me on this game. So I was super excited to try this out finally. And for Belshazzar, yes. So everything I imagined, the music's great, the voice, the animations was cool, the battle was cool. It's pretty intense for the most part and it required a lot of teamwork and communication, especially for people that have never cleared the raid before. And it was awesome. And once you start doing that, it feels great. However, this is where I kind of draw the line in the sand, right? So a couple of my friends decided to quit as well and stop playing. Some people are cutting back to take a break because the next patch is not until what? April. Although April is coming around the corner, it's Belshazzar hard mode. And like I mentioned before, this is going to be a lot of repetitive work all the way until Akan. And I don't know if I want to spend my time doing that. 
Typically, in other MMOs that I played in the past, I could supplement with PvP, but you know, PvP isn't that active in Lost Ark. I know we also recently just had the patch for Rowan, but personally for me, I see Rowan as filler content. Yes, there's faction versus faction PvP, but I've always hated this, especially coming from games such as Ion before. Faction versus faction PvP just never works out, and I just don't enjoy Zerg Fest at all. And for Lost Ark PvP, it's incredibly imbalanced. In open world PvP, and in the PvP Coliseum. So I don't enjoy PvP in any, and this is coming from someone that is PvP Supreme Rank 8. So I'm ranking currently, I think I was ranked 9 last season in Season 1. So, you know, I do play quite a lot of PvP. I used to enjoy in Season 1. However, as I continue to play, I notice that no one really plays it anymore. Sometimes I can queue up, I play against the same players for an hour, hour and a half, and you know, it's fun I guess but I don't want to keep playing the same people over and over again because that's just how many people that just don't play pvp anymore you don't really see pvp tournaments anymore outside of season one when they had that big tournament on twitch and you know many people just turned away from lost Ark. I feel like a lot of the pvp is dead in this game and it looks like with the recent low on they didn't really address it there's not going to be much changes to pvp at all occasionally they'll just balance a couple skills here and there but for the most part the most op class will be the flavor of the month so right now it's summoner and you know it's not fun playing against summoner you can play against it there's counters against it but you know it's just not enjoyable playing against a summoner just throwing a phoenix a uh, screen away and doing massive amounts of damage it's kind of ridiculous but you know that's just how it is that you got to make the newest class the most op so people decide to roll on that ult to play it to invest money in it to eventually swipe and that's how they get their money i get it my other goal for the game was to get a plus 20 weapon or plus 25 in relic gear i never had enough mass to get plus 25 it was just way too much especially as a free to play plus 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 and i only got it to plus 22 and i had to stop there but once Belshaza gear came i still remember my honing on my sorcerers because i was streaming this and I hit every single hone within 5 taps except for plus 18. So plus 18 I pitied, plus 19 I hit at 10%, and then plus 20 I hit around 20-25%. However, I hit it with a fused leap stone. So that was extremely crazy. But before you say, oh this guy is just super lucky getting plus 20. I did tap again, but this time on my arcana. So my arcana basically took all the bad luck from my sorceress and I pitied every single weapon hone except plus 19. Plus 19 I 4 tapped it and then I pitied plus 20 as well. So pretty much if I put these two characters combined it's around like what a 55% 60% hone rate and then if you spread it across all my other characters I probably bet that it would even out to like 50-50. So pretty much I think honing on each player's account evens out to about 50%. I could easily come back to this game and try it for a con and just swipe for the difference but you know I don't think it's worth it just to try out one legion raid for me personally. For me swiping in a game kind of defeats the purpose of the game like I want to play the game try to earn everything try to accomplish everything but yeah I can swipe and get things faster but you know I just don't like the idea of it that's just personally for me you know I, I feel like that just defeats the purpose of playing games in the first place. And, you know, to each their own, time is money, money is time, whatever you want to value. But for me, I don't enjoy swiping in the game. The only reason why I swiped one was I swiped to get the pre-order for the founders because I really wanted to play this game, get the head start that's really important to me to save names and stuff. Two, the other $200 that I spent on this game was to get character slots, cosmetic changes because I didn't like how my characters look, and also whatchamacallit skins as well so i bought one or two skins and i still have 7000 rc left over so you can see my steam purchases here if you don't believe me and i did not rmt at all i just play a lot of lost art i have over 4000 hours into this game so i do play a lot another thing that really has bugged me about this game is the amount of bots that are in this game i'm guessing on steam charts about 30,000 of those players are actual real players while the rest of them are bots that's my guess you know, it could be a little bit more than that, it'd be a little bit less than that, but there's definitely over a hundred thousand bots that are playing Lost Ark. And it's pretty insane. So 
Lost Ark is not in a great spot right now. I feel like there's a lot of botting going on. There's a lot of RMT going on as well. And I feel like Amazon Games should have just took a zero tolerance policy. Ever since the, in the beginning, they had that one moderator that said something along the lines like, a kingdom ruled by fear is not a kingdom to be lived in or something. Whatever that quote was, somebody may remember it. But for the most part, you know, they should have just took in a zero tolerance policy and that's that. And they should have just left it there. But instead, we just have a whole bunch of people that still RMT on the side. And Amazon games don't really do anything about it. Like, I don't mind if you swipe within the game. However, RMT and botting definitely does damage the game. So, you know, there's that as well. Another issue is that I don't see the amount of new players growing within Lost Ark. I feel like this game has already ran its course. They had so many players in the beginning and you know, they kind of just ruined it and let all those players leave. If you're a new player, I think they should make the experience better and just give them a 3x3 build at the very least. You can clear these raids with much worse engravings, but at least give them a starting point because any of the early game content doesn't really matter to anybody at this point. Give them a 3x3 gear and then eventually they can start saving up and earning gear so they can try to get 4x3 and 5x3. That way they'll at least be able to do the Legion raids. Yes, you can do some of these raids with much worse gear, but you know, it's a lot better player experience starting off with some decent gear and decent damage at least so they're not totally dead weight. And at least they can try to get into raids. I know they'll still get gatekept being 3x3, three three, but you know, it's a starting point. I feel like that would be a huge QL that could help out a lot of new players. I feel like the only time where we actually get updates that are quite timely and on time is either when they say something it's on the roadmap or if they messed up and it affects their bottom line. So for Fion Gate, if you remember, they gave everyone Fions and then they removed it. That happened within a day. And then there's also the time when they had the engraving books where they fixed it right away where you got a lot of purple engraving books. I think people got hundreds of them. And then there's also the latest incident with the gold toad where they made materials roster bound instead of character bound. They should have just honestly just left it like that for the week and then just switched it over from weeks two and beyond. But instead they decided to change it during the middle of the week so half of the people got screwed for not using it ahead of time and while the other half just got their gold back and missed out on an extra week of mats. So that's incredibly unfair. I feel like they should have just left it for the first week and left it alone and then people could have just progressed. But you know, it affects their bottom line so they won't do it. But you know what also affects your bottom line? Bots and I don't see you doing anything about that as well. So there's that. These are just some of the things that bother me about Lost Ark. I feel like this game has so much potential. For example, they could have just made one of the challenge abyssals, any of the raids from tier one to tier three, and then just made that equalized content. So things just don't get so boring. So you're able to switch things up all the time. And for the most part, I feel like they have such good early game content that they just decide to throw away. But you know, it is what it is. They're not gonna make changes at this point. We've already launched. It's not like they're going to relaunch this game again, I think, because this game is not anywhere close to dying yet. Seeing how they're probably being misled by the amount of players that are on Steam charts. But for the most part, you know, I think a year or two year or even three years from now, this game will still be alive. This game will still have a player base. However, it'll be much smaller. I think you're going to see more and more veteran players leave and there's going to be less new players coming into the game. So I think it's about time that I put this game at rest. This game will always hold a special memory for me. I had a blast playing this game and you know, it's just time for me to move on. Since I'm leaving Lost Ark, what am I planning on playing next? I know there's a couple games coming out in the future that were some big names to be announced, such as Diablo 4 that's going to come out. I'll probably try it, but I don't think I'll stick around too long seeing how I didn't really like Diablo 3 as much. And there's also Thrones and Liberty as well and Blue Protocol. So both of them will be published by Amazon Games. I'm not the biggest fan of them as a publisher. Maybe they can make things better, but I do know for Thrones of Liberty, I do not like NCSoft as the developer. A lot of the problems with NCSoft games is that it's heavily monetized and I don't really enjoy that aspect. So I kind of don't really trust them, especially after playing Ion. In the beginning years of Ion, it was great. However, towards the later, end of the year towards Zion, I did not enjoy it at all and eventually quit. So I kind of made a promise myself to never play NCSoft again, but that's just my personal reasons. For Blue Protocol, it kind of checks a lot of the check marks that I have on a list, 
of what I'm looking for into a game and it looks pretty interesting so far. I've been seeing trailers of it a couple years ago and I'm kind of excited that it's actually coming out. However, I'm kind of nervous on the monetization aspect of the game because that's really what's going to make or break the game and if it has enough content to keep people entertained. So hopefully it'll be a good game once it comes out. I'm willing to give it a shot. But right now, I'm most likely going to be playing Wild Hearts. However, there is performance issues right now. So currently, I'm just waiting for this game to become fixed. And once the game is fixed, I'm probably going to be playing Wild Hearts instead. So the next thing that I'll probably upload, maybe some Wild Hearts stuff. Or I might upload my video of Roshaza 1-6 through six on my Sorceress. So I might do Roshaza one more time on my Sorceress. And the reason why I'm doing it is because there's not many players that play Swift Flux. So, you know, I know Swift Flux is lower damage when compared to Crit Flux and Igniter. However, Swift Flux is extremely fun to play. And I kind of want to showcase it for anybody that is interested in playing Swift Flux and may want to try it. With all animations on, of course, because that's the only way to play Lost Ark. If you're playing with animations off, you know, you're not even playing the same game at this point. But for the most part, Thanks for watching. We made it to the end. For the people who have came back and seen some of my videos before, I really appreciate it. Those of you who continue to play this game, keep playing this game. As long as you continue to have fun, have goals that you want to reach. If you have friends that want to play with you as well, yes, friends. People who have friends that play games. It's quite, quite astounding. It can change your perspective on games that you want to play. But, you know, if you have fun playing your game, go for it and keep playing it. Just because I'm dropping off doesn't mean you should drop off playing Wild Stark as well. But this is it for me. I'll catch you guys next time in another video, hopefully soon, depending on when I do the Spell Shouser raid. But I'll catch you guys later. Peace.